In the spring of 1943, the Allies decided to try an experiment in order to capture the well-defended Mediterranean island of Pantelleria. Dwight Eisenhower, Supreme Allied Commander of the Mediterranean, wrote to U.S. Army Chief of Staff George Marshall, I want to make the capture of Pantelleria a sort of laboratory to determine the effect of concentrated heavy bombing on a defended coastline. When the time comes, we're going to concentrate everything we have to see whether damage to materiel, personnel, and morale cannot be made so serious as to make a landing a rather simple affair. The Allies had an overwhelming amount of aircraft available, but leveraged a plan made by British scientific advisor Solly Zuckerman, who is pioneering a new field of study called Operations Research, which attempts to apply mathematical concepts to determine optimal plans of action. Zuckerman produced a detailed bombing plan. Bombing began in earnest on May 18th and slowly intensified. From May 18th to May 29th, over 1,500 sorties were flown against the island, with 1,300 tons of bombs dropped. By June 6, daily sorties increased to 200 or more, and the number doubled or tripled over the next five days. Similarly, bomb tonnage gradually increased, 231 tons being dropped on June 5th and June 6th, and intensifying with 600 tons on June 7th. Then on June 10th, more than 1,700 sorties dropped more than 1,500 tons of bombs. The only respite was a three-hour lull in which the Allies again offered the garrison the ability to surrender, but again received no response. A final attack of B-17 heavy bombers the morning of the 11th was so powerful that the official U.S. Army Air Force history said, Suddenly the whole harbor appeared to rise and hang in midair, while smoke and dust billowed high, dwarfing Montaigne Grande, the Pantelleria's tallest peak. The Italians had had enough. Eisenhower wrote, When the attack on the place was put on as scheduled, the men in their landing ships had not even completed getting into their landing craft when white flags began to appear all over the island. The website of the 320th Bomb Group notes, The air offensive against Pantelleria was the heaviest concentrated bombing, both in weight of explosives and number of sorties, delivered against a single Axis target up to that time. The capitulation represents the first time a fortified garrison had been defeated by application of air power alone, without a supporting ground attack. Major General James Doolittle, commander of the North African Strategic Air Forces, told the Associated Press that the island's surrender is definitely a landmark in the history of military aviation.